Hey guys, this is Ben with Albany RV here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Jayco 224BH and the J Flight series. This is an awesome starter travel trailer for maybe a small family who wants to be getting away doing those weekend camping trips, but you also want to do it on a budget. So I'm going to be going through some of the small features and big features that make this one of the best travel trailers for a family on a budget. Starting over here on the front, you're going to be getting a power tongue jack. Tied into the power tongue jack on the front, you're gonna be using a integrated more ride A-frame. So that A-frame is gonna go back to the center of the camper. And what that means for you as a consumer is you're getting more outriggers on the actual frame of the camper itself. Those walls are not just gonna be, be sitting on the frame. They're gonna actually be tied into the frame using those outriggers. Coming around to the off side of the camper, you get a good look at those Goodyear Endurance tires. This is a non-slide travel trailer riding on two Goodyear Endurance tires. Those are pre-nitrogen filled from the factory and have a six year warranty. They also have shower hookup on the outside, black and gray water holding tanks, all drain out of the same spot. Coming around to the back of the camper, you get a really good look at those two tinted windows. Those are gonna be for your bottom and top bumps. Also a good view of that spare tire. Spare tire on these is going to be standard. You also get a really good view of the suburban tankless hot water system. So on all Jayco J flights for 2024, you're using a 60,000 BTU tankless hot water system, which is a great system at two and a half gallons per minute. That'll take cold tap water and bring it all the way up to 120, 125 degrees for you. Get a really good look at this outdoor kitchen as well. So for that outdoor kitchen, you're using the Jayco's J port griddle system. So there's a griddle that comes with the package the bracket makes an L shape and comes up and then ties into this LP gas bracket down here, as you can see. That tied with your outdoor mini fridge and a little prep area with a couple of rollout drawers makes outdoor cooking a breeze because we all love cooking outside. Right underneath here, you can see, get a really good view of your LCI, it's a Solera awning. It's also LED underlay. LED under lights reflecting off of the white body of the trailer. We're gonna illuminate this whole camping area for those maybe low light camping sessions. You're out here talking around the campfire. It's definitely an, a nice package that they put together for you. We're gonna take a walk up of these Lipper Solid Steps XF Series. So it's a two step solid step system, fully adjustable. So when you get to your campsite, you pull the pin, adjust them as you need to. So that way they're always solid every time you get to your campsite. Take a walk up. So inside, the first thing you're gonna notice for 2024, they completely redid their modern farmhouse look. So as you can see, looking around, your cabinets are all gonna be Amish white hardwood designed by Stacy Stewart herself. And then you have a little bit of brown accent cabinetry as well. Starting off in the front of the camper, you have a queen size bed with some storage underneath. And then two storage areas off to the side as well. For various clothes, storage of accessories and so forth. And then you get a good look over here at this 30 amp solar controller. This unit specifically is standard with solar. So it's got a 200 watt panel on the top paired with a 30 amp solar controller. You can expand that to 600 if you'd like to. Coming around to the middle of the camper here, you have a recessed split farmhouse sink, the three burner stove top by Furion with the adaptive safety knobs. So these knobs, when, are, when activated, will turn orange or reddish in color. A lot of families love this feature because what it means for you as a consumer is when your family's in this camper for extended periods of time, you're cooking on the stove, kids are running around, you turn this burner on, it's a visual reminder that your burner is actually physically on. So you don't just all of a sudden get your CO alarm of going off and your camper smelling like propane. That's a visual reminder to help remind you and your family that you have that burner on. Coming over here to the dinette, it's a pretty standard drop down two by two dinette. You remove the poles, Fill the cushions in the middle and it's an additional sleeping area for that extra kid coming along to the party or whoever wants to sleep there. Coming around to the back of the unit, one of my favorite features about Jayco's. Jayco in that 22 foot advertised trailer 
is going to be giving you double over double bunks in the back. Those have a 600 pound capacity. I myself, I'm 5'10", and I can fit in these just fine. I'll crawl right in for you. So I'm hanging out in here just fine. There's plenty of space for me or even another person back here. So Jayco's got 600 pound capacities on these bunks, utilizing their teddy bear bunk system. This is definitely a, a, a more than adequate sleeping area for me. Even got a little window back here. All right, coming into the bathroom right back here. Trust me, this you think, oh, it's just a standard camper bathroom, right? Of course, it's a Jayco, it's not. So if you swing over there and check out our suburban tankless hot water system, just like we talked about inside, that tankless hot water system, you turn that on, you can adjust your output temp to whatever you'd like it to be all the way up to 120 degrees. A little medicine cabinet, sink back here in the bathroom as well, standard there for toilet, and then two and a half gallon head in a relatively spacious shower. Again, I'm a full grown guy, right? I can keep my elbows up, I can spin, I can pivot, I'm not hitting anything. It's a big shower. Underneath your showers, you're also getting plywood backers and two pound density foam. What that means is, again, I can jump up and down in the camper and I'm actually moving the whole camper. There's nothing under here that's gonna potentially break or get soft or not be stable for even some of our bigger campers who are coming in here. This is definitely a super solid, spacious, definitely has a residential feel to it. Hey guys, a couple of the things I wanted to hit on on this Jayco that just make it the best made travel trailer on the market. Up on the roof, you're using a 4,500 pound Magnum Truss roof system. That roof means that Jayco product tested that roof, put 4,500 pounds of pressure on it, which is almost quadruple the industry standard, and it still didn't break. Up here in New England, when you're getting a lot of snow, and the snow is really wet, dense, and heavy, or if you have a tree limb fall on your camper, that camper is still gonna hold its structural integrity. That 4,500 pound roof is set on 16 on center residential construction. So from the roof down to the actual base, you're getting 16 on center residential construction, set, setting on 5 8 tongue and groove plywood. Industry standard is like a 3 8 OSB board. OSB board is actually banned in, in states like Florida and so forth where you have a lot of hurricanes, a lot of wet weather, because it just doesn't hold structural integrity. It expands, it's like beaver pew, it's glued together. It doesn't hold structural integrity. 5 8 tongue groove plywood is industry leading solid floors. They're gonna last for a long time. They have infinite shelf life for you. It's gonna be the best made travel trailer on the That resting on that motorized A-frame that goes all the way through the actual camper. And then a couple of other things I wanted to hit on too. Around this good here endurance tires. What do you hear there? That's gonna be aluminum blowout protection around the wheel wells. So if you do get a blowout on one of those Goodyear tires using the RV Complete app, give us a call. We'll come help you roadside assistance 24 seven. We'll change your tire for you, but that means you're gonna get back on the road. Other campers, you blow a tire out, it's gonna shred the underbelly of your camper. I've even seen campers get totaled from damage like that. Just not gonna happen with a Jayco. That paired with that enclosed underbelly, that's gonna help keep your actual underbelly of the camper secure from road debris, dirt, and so forth. That's gonna be, that's why Jayco J Flight is the most popular travel trailer in America, guys. Couple more things that Jayco just does differently from the competition, right? So as far as your stabilizing Jasco, every camper is gonna have stabilizers, but are you gonna be getting Lippert's quick drop stabilizer? So these stabilizer jacks, when you pull the pin, these will drop down, click into place, and then you're only taking a turn or two to actually tighten these to stabilize the camper versus standard scissor jacks where you're just winding and winding and winding and winding, or even some people using the, not necessarily the recommended method, but using an impact gun to slide those down, potentially causing camper damage to your camper. The quick drop stabilizers, drop them down, tighten them up. They're even faster than some of the power jacks on the market today. One thing you're gonna to notice too, on this camper, you're pre-prepped for the Furion backup camera system. They've already run the wiring through the manufacturer OEM and they've put that bracket there for you. So if you decide to option on for a rear camera or even a side camera system, Jayco's already pre-prepped for that system. So you can just purchase the package through us and then we'll mount it for you. It makes driving a heck of a lot easier. You have a little monitor in your tow vehicle that you're watching at all times and when you're you know, go to make a lane change or you're going to back into a campsite, those cameras, just like in your vehicle, are going to help you navigate that easily. 
something about switching lanes on the interstate, right? You ever been next to a tractor trailer truck on the interstate when they go to switch lanes? Maybe we've even had a couple close calls with them. They, they put their turn signal on and the only way that you know they're switching lanes is when all the lights flash on the side of that tractor trailer truck. Well, thankfully, Jayco does that too. So Jayco uses a Jace smart system. So side markers and rear travel system where these lights on the side of the camper and the lights on the back of the camper are actually gonna flash with your tow vehicle when you activate your turn signal for the right side. The right flashers are all gonna flash along with the rears. It's Jayco's just keeping safety in mind for you as a consumer because they know you're towing this down the road with your family. They don't want you to get hurt. Another thing I want to hit on in the back of the camper as well too, something a lot of other manufacturers don't do. This large round light back here has a whites in the center. What that means is when you put your vehicle in reverse, when you're backing up to your campsite, those are gonna illuminate white, which is actually gonna help light up your campsite. So even if you're not using that camera system, which it will certainly help with, even if you're not using that camera system, it absolutely lights up the rear of your site when you're trying to back in and it's nighttime. All it's helping you do is helping you see and giving you a better camping experience altogether. Hey guys, thanks for taking the tour of the 224BH with me. Like I said, my name's Ben with Albany RV. I'm one of the sales reps here. Let us know if we can help you out at all. We take trades, we do financing. Let us help you get out on your next camping trip. All right, we'll see you out there, guys.